making uh, started in California. There was, um, I believe it was started by a woman who was an artist herself, would go to visit her mother who was in a memory care unit. And her a mother wanted to paint with her. And she came to understand as her mother continued to work at, on her art that she was painting emotions and she was painting memories. Um, it's just spread. Uh, we've adopted it as the Alzheimer's Association and it, we have 85 sites throughout the state. Colorado Springs we have um, 17 different facilities and I will send out a call for art um, the facilities will return it to me this year I had over a thousand pieces returned we are going to be showing the art at the East Library uh, with Pikes Peak Library District and um, that will be from for the entire month of April uh, the auction itself is April 29th and that will be at the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame to have a piece of art that where the artist is expressing something that the family thought was was gone is really it's comforting um, it means a lot to them there's one piece called mother holding child where it's it's a abstract rendering of of a person holding you could tell it's holding a child it is it's, it's you can see what it is, it's not a literal representation. But I spoke to the daughter, and the reason that that piece is important to her is because her mother spent her life as a foster mother. She loved children, that was, what, that was who she was and what she did. So that her mother was able to express that meant something to her above and beyond the painting. Alzheimer art is happy art, and there is um, often use of bright colors. We have one piece that is actually four separate pieces put together. Um, when we went out to talk to the artist and, and ask her about that, it was originally untitled, and she said, well, those are circus colors. And, you know, I just think it's a wonderful kind of expressive title. And uh, uh, so, so, you know, there's that element. But some of the things that, that we see in the Alzheimer's art is the use of repetition. You'll see repetitive strokes, um, pointillism, kind of a, um, you know, the, the dots, the, the use of dots to create a picture of something else. Uh, the um, circles, especially, you know, as, as the disease progresses and you see a person in a later stage, you often see art that uses a circular uh, motion or rendering. People come and they see the art and they buy the art. Um, people are often struck by um, by the story behind the art. They, they it takes on a whole new meaning. They um, many times are surprised at, at the quality of the art itself. Um, but but more than that, you know, just that it's touching. It helps you understand that underneath all of this, you know, the, the dementia, that there's a person who's creative, um, that they still have all of the things that made them the person that they were. <laughs>